This is a demonstration that is quick and easy. Sometimes. I have what purports to be water. I am putting it in a bottle. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> what my goal is, is to demonstrate that clean mind gives you steady hands or not. And a little bit about uh, surface tension, pressure, that kind of stuff. I've actually filled this, and I think you can pick that up. It's, I've got an inverted meniscus at the top. What I'm going to do is put a piece of filter paper on there and see if air pressure will let me invert this over this. And yes, I think it will. I'm going to move this up here so you can see it a little bit. Turn the light on. And can we bring the lights down a little bit and see if we can focus right in here. Maybe maybe even down to dusk, yeah. That's good. My idea at this point, beyond hoping the kids are really excited about the fact that I was able to turn that flask over without spilling everything, I'll say, what do you see? And what you do see, and what's pretty obvious, the filter paper's hanging over here a little bit, so it's dripping down but hopefully you'll start to see some swirls of pink coming up into here. Because what I had was about four or five drops of concentrated ammonia down there. This has phenolphthalein in it. And yeah, you're starting to, I don't know if you can pick it up. I may need to put something behind it. But I'm starting to get a swirl here. Can you pick that up? You see the pink in here? Let me put a white background behind it. How's that? It's good. It, it's interesting to, to see the pink. But if you're maybe in the middle of the year someplace and you started off the first week of school talking about why we believe in the particle model of matter, why is the pink doing that? Why is it going this way and then spreading out? Those molecules have to be in motion. That's a real nice piece of evidence of molecular motion. You can actually have the students do this on their own level. But um, this is kind of a nice demonstration. It is subject to temperature. It's subject to how much time you have to set it up. But as, as you're starting to see, there's some real nice patterns in there. It's called Pink Panther Breath. Demonstration of Diffusion of gases, the ammonia gas is coming up. Molecular motion. Really interesting to do. If you leave this long enough, and you get a good seal down here, and I think I have a pretty good one. This will eventually all turn pink as the ammonia vaporizes. Really interesting patterns there. So there it is. Pink Panther breath. <laughs>